Hey everyone, Sam Mackay here from Enterprise Zena. I just want to work through uh, how you can create some custom conditional formatting now inside of your Power BI tables. So these have been some relatively recent updates from the Power BI uh, team and really good ones. I really think that there's a lot of scope around what you can achieve here. And, that, and that's basically just what I want to highlight um, essentially. Okay, so uh, I'll just actually remove uh, this one here. So what you can do now is you can specify rules based on what results you have inside of tables, okay? So I'll just show you how to do like a really simple rule that you can implement here. Now, uh, all you gotta do is go uh, go and click the drop down arrow on the measure within the table, okay? Or what, uh, whatever is determining the calculation. And then go conditional formatting. I'm just gonna go background color here and then up the top here you can you can do some ordinary formatting with color scale but what i want to select is rules okay then we can select um whatever measure we want to um we want to use within our rule in this case i'm just going to use total revenue i'm going to show how we can use other measures shortly but i'm just going to use total revenue and i'm going to go um i just use total revenue like so and then all i'm going to do here is i'm going to go if my value if my revenue is greater than or equal to say uh, let's say 40,000 and is less than just some arbitrary 200,000 then I want this to equal to that color okay now you can go add and I'll show you in a second how you can do that but I'm just going to use one here and just show you what happens okay so we now um, have some unique colors based on some you know input some logic that we place inside there okay now I want to show you, I'm going to bring in exactly the same, I've just created another measure. I want to show you how we can actually use other, we can actually use other measures within our conditional formatting now. So I've gone and calculated up a simple total, total quantity um, measure, right? So what I want to do is I want, I want to get some custom formatting in here based on the result here, based on this total quantity result. Okay, so I'm going to go conditional formatting, I'm going to do background color again. I'm going to go to rules and then I'm going to go based on field total quantity. I'm going to make sure, um, actually, no, I clicked on the wrong one. I need to go total revenue two. Yep, so background color. So background color is total revenue two. I'm going to go to rules and then I want to select my total quantity measure here based on field total quantity. If it is greater than or equal to, let's go 25. And is less than say let's go 100 just another arbitrary arbitrary number i want it to equal to that color okay let's then check this out so you see now that's pretty cool right so we can now determine what conditional form when we have now based on any measure like the measure can be basically anything we could ever want we can determine what um what results we uh, what 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 formatting we have this was not possible um, not too long ago so it's a real big um, big change and it allows you for immense flexibility in many different ways um, knowing knowing that you can do this conditional formatting now okay so i want to show you one more example so i'm going to bring in the, another revenue exactly the same result what i've done now is i wanted to create some formatting but i want to do it based on ranking so and to make it even trickier what i want to do i want to rank my customers here i want to rank my customers based on how many transactions they have okay so i've created a rank x formula here and i've said rank all of my customers based on their transactions in a descending um descending way so the highest um people will have a higher ranking obviously so well lower lower ranking lower ranking i'm sorry so for example um we have these particular uh customers here they've had uh, they're number one because they've had the most transactions and number two so on and so forth um, because of the lower transactions okay so now what I want to do I'm going to create some so I've created my ranking first of all um, and, and look I've just chosen this one just to show you an advanced example but I mean you could just rank on customers here and then create the similar sort of logic and um, that, that hopefully you can see that by what I'm showing you but I'm just going to basically go background color now I'm going to go rules and I'm going to go and select my ranking transactions, um, ranking by transactions formula that I created. And then I'm going to say if it's greater than or equal to zero and less than, 
no, sorry, I'm going to go if it's greater than zero and less than and equal to two, I'm going to um, do blue. I'm going to add another one. I'm going to say if it's greater than two and less than or equal to four, then I want I want some yellow. And I'm going to add another one. I'm going to say if it's greater than four and less than or equal to six, then I'm going to do do a light gray. And one more. I'm going to say if it's greater than six and less than or equal to 50, then I want to do a orange. And then I go go OK. And so you'll see now that we now have colors determined by a ranking measure that we generated off another measure. So you can get really complex in terms of the logic you use here. I guess that's, that's what I'm mainly trying to show you here um, is, how, is how good this how good this conditional formatting can be now. Um, you know, you really have unlimited potential to do to do some great some great um, great formatting based on what your needs are in, within tables. Okay, I'm going to round things off there. Hopefully, I've shown you enough in terms of how you can utilize this functionality now inside of your tables. You can also use these as visualizations, by the way, not just not just tables. There's, you can turn, you can you can use the other visualizations like the bar charts, stacked column charts, etc. Uh, there's there's multiple ways that you can start using these rules. So it's a fantastic, um, relative relatively new development inside of Power BI, and I think answers a lot of people's requests actually, because this is a very requested feature for a very long time. So hopefully you can um, you know find the find find the use of this and and, and have got some inspiration out of this video. Um, if you enjoyed it, definitely throw it a like. Really appreciate it as always, and don't forget to subscribe to Enterprise DNA TV. Okay, talk to you soon.